How fast you run in a race depends on so many things. The temperature, the wind, the elevation, and even how many sharp turns there are on the course. And for years I struggled with really understanding how fast a race actually was compared to another one. Like, was that a new PB because I got fitter or was the course just a faster, easier course? I also struggled with setting up an optimal pacing plan for races that includes uh, uphills and downhills, sharp turns and wind. It's hard to know how much you should slow down on the uphills and how much time you lose on the sharp turns and what happens if it's a windy race day. So that's why I built the GW Pace Pro and in this video I'll quickly walk you through exactly how I use it. Here in the performance inputs you can manually enter your distance, time and elevation gain. But you really get the most out of uh, this app by uploading your own uh, GPX file. You can easily download your GPX uh, from Strava, Garmin Connect, uh, Coros Training Hub or whatever watch you use. So I'm going to upload a recent 5k race here that I ran not that long ago. And this one had quite a lot of elevation and a bunch of sharp uh, turns. Once the file loads here, the app gives you an estimate of your VO2 max and your two lactate thresholds. Your aerobic threshold, LT1, and your anaerobic threshold, often called LT2. And these are super useful to use in training. And for me, these estimates were actually very close to what I tested in a lab around the same time. Of course, it will never be 100% perfect, but it gives a solid uh, estimate. Then you can see the performance normalization here, which shows uh, how much the course affected your time compared to a completely flat uh, straight course. The app automatically fetches the weather here from the exact day, time and location you ran. So if the race was on a really hot and warm day, you'll see how much time that cost you. In my case, the temperature wasn't that high, so it didn't affect uh, this race much. And here's the elevation adjustment. This takes both the gains from running downhill and losses from going uphill into account. And the estimate here is that this course cost me 45 seconds compared to a completely flat track. And here's the wind adjustment. I ran alone most of the time in this race, so the wind cost me about 3 seconds. But if I had been drafting behind others, uh, it would have cost less. You can just toggle that on here and you'll see how the wind adjustment changes automatically. But this one was uh, for sure no drafting. The course in this 5k also had a lot of sharp turns and the app uh, estimated I lost around 19 seconds uh, due to turning and this takes your speed into account as well because the faster you run the more time you will lose in tight corners of course. As you see here if I would have been a crazy fast runner running a 15 minute 5k on this demanding course the sharp turns would have costed me even more. And all of this combined gives me an estimate of what I would have been able to run on an ideal flat uh, course. My adjustment time here is 15.59, which uh, is very close to what I was capable of at uh, that moment on a flat running track. Of course, nothing here will be 100% exact, and some things like how much you lose in the uphills are of course individual as well. But this app uses physics and gives you a much better comparison than looking at two races side by side without all of this context. Then here we get a little pacing analysis and here you can see how you should ideally have paced the different sections. You see that I pushed a bit too hard on the third kilometer. By the way, when I talk about kilometers here, of course, uh, for you Americans, you can use miles as all your metrics as well in this app. And that third kilometer probably cost me time over the whole course. If I, I could have run faster in the beginning and faster after that third kilometer, probably if I didn't overdo it in that app. Uh, section there. And then you also get this color coded map showing your actual pacing on the route. The green areas of the route shows your fastest uh, areas where you ran the fastest and the red areas shows the areas where you didn't run as fast as the other areas. I think this is a super fun tool to just uh, play around with, uh, upload plenty of different GPX courses from trainings and races and analyze them. And you can also actually learn a lot about when you have paced your races well and when there is room for improvement. But now I will show you when this app becomes really useful. In the goal race input section here you can manually enter the distance and elevation of an upcoming race you are going to run. 
And then you can also fetch the expected weather based on the actual forecast if the race is close enough to have a forecast or it will uh, otherwise it will fetch historical averages based on the last uh, five years. But you can also upload a GPX file of your upcoming uh, race course and this you can often find if you haven't ran the race prior to yourself. You can just search for someone on Strava or uh, any other platform where they have uploaded a GPX file from, from last year and then from people's Strava activity you can download the the GPX file pretty easy. I also added some major racers directly into the app so let's pick the Valencia Marathon here which I'll be running soon and when I put in the date of the race here since the race is still a month away the app fetches historical average weather and I know I will be drafting a lot hopefully in this race since it's over 30,000 runners that will be running so I can uh, switch the drafting to Glon to reduce the wind impact. Now in the race predictor and pacing tab you will see the predicted the finishing time based on your fitness from uh, your performance input, the race you put in the performance input. For me personally I'm generally a stronger runner on shorter distances compared to other runners so this 235 marathon prediction it's probably a bit uh, optimistic uh, right now at least. But if the prediction doesn't match what you want to aim for in the specific uh, race you're preparing for, you can just enter your own manual goal time here. And then you will get uh, a full pacing plan for that race. It automatically adjusts for every climb, every descent, every sharp turn and the wind direction as well. So the idea is to slightly adjust your pacing when the course gets harder or easier based on the wind elevation and turns to keep your intensity as consistent as possible throughout the entire course. So here you get an elevation graph and the map color coded so you can immediately see the faster and slower sections. You also see the wind direction along the course uh, down here. You can also open the map in full screen and really dive into all the details zoom in on different parts and I found this to be super helpful for mentally preparing for the race and planning how to execute it as perfectly as possible. I spent way too much time building this this thing but I'm really happy with uh, how it turned out and uh, now it's finally released for you to try out. If you want to try it out the uh, GW Pace Pro is now available for my Patreon Silver members or you can also buy it as a one-off item in my Patreon shop. Then you will get a personal password to this uh, web application and get instant access to uploading your races, analyze your fitness and build your next uh, pacing plan.